Welcome to Lisbon and let me take you today on a couple of days of exploration of the heart of the city while staying at the Four Seasons Hotel. One of the most iconic hotels in the Portuguese capital, the Four Seasons Lisbon is synonym with an elegant and refined stay. Located very close to the city center and yet away enough from the hustle and bustle of its lively streets, it is a perfect base for a few days of strolling and relaxation in Lisbon. We stayed in a spacious and beautifully decorated room with all the comforts you would expect from a Four Seasons. Our room, at views to Parque Duarte VII, one of the main parks in the heart of Lisbon, providing wide open views all the way to the historical neighborhoods of the city, to its castle and to its characteristic hills. Unfortunately, for the whole duration of our stay, the sky was mostly overcast, which is very uncharacteristic of Lisbon, known for its beautiful light all year round. After relaxing for a while in the balcony, taking in the views over a glass of port wine, we went out to explore some of my favorite areas of the city. As the hotel is located right by Marques de Pombal Square and the top of Avenida da Liberdade, we started our afternoon by strolling down along the avenue under the canopies of the plain trees, which in the abundant sunny days of Lisbon provide a much-loved shade for passers-by and to the people sitting at the few kiosk cafes scattered along the one-kilometer-long avenue. Tucked between two of the Lisbon Seven Hills, Avenida da Liberdade is well known for being the place to go for luxury shopping and I always find it very pleasant to walk to the city center while gazing at the store windows and admiring the beautiful architecture of the buildings, some painted in pastel tones, others with the typical colorfully tiled facades.
Once we got to Praça dos Restauradores, we went up Calçada da Glória with its iconic yellow funicular taking people to the top of the hill. We didn't take the funicular as the queue was quite long and we just went up by foot, which is a short and easy climb for most people if the day is not too hot. Once you are up there, you have Chiado to one side, Príncipe Real to the other, and Bairro Alto in the middle of the two. You will also be right by the São Pedro de Alcântara viewpoint, with panoramic views of the hill across, and particularly the famous and very traditional neighborhoods of Alfama and Moraria, and the castle of São Jorge right at the top of the hill. We then made our way towards Príncipe Real, an area with a very nice small garden surrounded by beautiful independent stores, bars and restaurants, which cater to everyone's taste. I love coming to this area, which is always so youthful and lively. One of my favorite stops at Príncipe Real is the small shopping mall Embaixada, located in the 19th century palace with a Moorish revival architecture. Inside, besides the beautiful decoration and style of the building, with frescoes on the walls and an interior patio with balconies from the top floor, you will find a few small independent stores selling local brands of clothing, accessories and home decoration. On the ground floor you also have a gin bar in the middle of the interior patio, where we sat for a drink while resting for a bit before continuing our rambles in Lisbon. Right as we were leaving, we stopped at this stand by the entrance and bought half a dozen of these very tasty chocolate salami balls, a different way to present this much-loved sweet treat. Thank you. 
We then headed towards Chiado and went through the iconic Bairro Alto. This is another very traditional neighborhood in Lisbon, most notably for its nightlife and its bars with live music. During the day, it is a very quiet area of the city, but you can see the signs of its nightlife everywhere when it completely transforms into a whole different vibe, especially from Thursdays to Saturdays. Once we came across the other side, we were right by Largo de Camões and very close to Chiado, another iconic square in Lisbon. We made a quick stop to grab a couple pastéis de nata from a mantagaria, so we could eat them later by the river. This area is always bustling with movement of cars, crowds and yellow trams crossing towards the different directions in the city. There is so much energy here that you really feel like you are at the very heart of Lisbon. Here you will also find some very traditional bookstores, cafes and pastry shops that are very much worth the visit, although many others have sadly been progressively replaced by international chains. To finish our afternoon, we went towards the river and sat by the water at Ribeira das Naus. In a beautiful day, you will have the most beautiful sunset colors, watching as the boats go back and forth between the north and south margins of the river Tejo, with plenty of people sitting there just enjoying the views. While we didn't get a beautiful sunset, we still enjoyed an hour or so of relaxation and contemplation and ate our pastéis de nata. Later, after returning to Four Seasons and getting ready for dinner, we went down to their veranda restaurant with a very sober and classic decoration and we sat on a table by the window with glimpses of the city down below. After starting with a glass of champagne and some very delicious and fresh bread, we shared the beef tartare for entree, followed by tiger prawns and the beef tenderloin, also very delicious. We then finished with modern versions of Bota Vacherin and the very traditional Portuguese rice pudding, presented very differently but tasting absolutely deliciously. And with that, we ended our first day at Four Seasons.
Sadly, the following day wasn't much brighter than the first. After getting ready for the day, we went down for breakfast back at restaurant Varanda. The breakfast has a very wide variety of dishes to choose from, with a very complete choice of breads, pastries, fruit, as well as cheeses and cold cuts, and a few different savoury dishes that change from day to day. We then decided to spend a good part of the morning relaxing in the indoor swimming pool by the spa area of the hotel, a perfect place to relax on a moody day like this one. One of the unique features of Four Seasons Lisbon is its fitness area. Located on the top floor of the hotel, with beautiful views to the city, the very wide gym area perfectly equipped and with a few different rooms, all with views, is surrounded by a 400 meters running track, perfect for a convenient morning run with amazing views of the hills down below. After a morning relaxing in the hotel, we decided to walk down Avenida da Liberdad once again and headed for lunch at Genesequa. Here you will find a very modern and trendy restaurant with very nice staff and with a laid back but beautifully decorated ambience.
As we had a very generous breakfast, we went with a very light lunch going simply for a traditional codfish gratin and a truffle tagliolini, both very delicious and perfectly cooked. And thus comes the end of this couple of days in Lisbon. Thank you once again for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.